if you are going to uh, come out and claim to be a nation that speaks for the international legal order, that supports the international legal, legal order, then you have, to be, uh, you have to behave the same way in all situations. Some Canadian anti-racism activists say there's a clear double standard at play when it comes to Canadian public policy. While our government has been unwavering in supporting Ukraine against Russian aggression, we're selling weapons that Amnesty International says are being used in the war against Yemen. You have the Saudi government that has been undertaking a war against Yemen where 300,000 people have died. Canada is selling weapons to the aggressor. Canada is complicit in that war, and that too is racism. Fareed Khan says he doesn't want people to misunderstand. He's fully behind Canada's support for Ukraine. So all the things that are being done to help the Ukrainians, I applaud it. I think it needs to be done. These are people who are being brutalized by the Russian invasion. But he says Canada must also speak out about genocides against Rohingya people in Myanmar and Uyghurs in China. At the very least, if Canada can accept an unlimited number of Ukrainian refugees, why are other refugee numbers capped? Why have we been unable to extend the same support for refugees outside of Europe, including Afghanistan, Syria, Iraq, or Palestine? Surely we have capacity to welcome any asylum seekers fleeing conflict and strife, regardless of where they come from. It's not just foreign affairs. Alex Ihama from the Canadian Congress on Diversity says police refusal to use force to disperse trucker protests stood in stark contrast to how Black Lives Matter or Indigenous land defenders are treated. We also see the force that is being used when the Black Lives Matter movement, when they are advancing their cause. They are not asking for free money. They are not asking for free anything. They are asking simply to be recognized as humans, simply to be recognized as citizens. Khan says he's not putting faith in politicians to solve the problem. Canadians need to stand up and ask why our government says one thing, yet does another. In fact, let me quote Albert Einstein. He says, you cannot solve the same problem with the mind that created the problem in the first place. So with that said, I will tap on what my friend Farid said and said, we must take that responsibility into our hands. You is asking the question, fine media person, what are you doing? Martin Luther King said, we must all ask ourselves, what are we doing? In Ottawa, Shaoli Lee, City News.